demonstration of the new Desmo connector usage cycle. These images taken for explanatory purposes, didactic, schematic, popular, using a fake peritoneum full of a red-colored dialysis solution, show a bag-changing procedure with the Desmo system. The attention to sterility is missing, but with the Desmo prerogative, the real situation is not that different. To start, we hang the full bag on the lowest hook on the stand. We hang the receptacle bag on the highest hook. Now we can manually break the cone on the empty bag, repeating the movement to be sure of its rupture. The solution now flows freely in the lines moving towards the empty bag and pushing into it any potential air bubbles present in the tubes. We now pull the rubber ring on the protective cap on the Desmo connector. At this point, we unscrew the top of the Desmo patient set and place it on the counter. We screw the newly freed extremity of the Desmo connector to the extremity of the Desmo patient set until we hear the confirmation click of the anti-unscrewing wings. Then we push the mobile portion of the Desmo patient set until it finishes towards the implementer of the bag to remove the protective cap on the patient set. The opportunely captured cap will be visible inside the Desmo connector. We now turn the valve for its first rotation until we reach the position denoted by two blue circles. We now unhook the empty bag and place it on the floor. The red-colored liquid in the bag, which simulates the peritoneum, flows towards the receptacle bag, filling it. When the liquid present in the peritoneum has filled the receptacle bag and the flow has ended, we turn the valve on the Desmo connector to the position denoted by three blue circles. The liquid begins to flow into the new peritoneum bag. At the end of the emptying phase, we turn the valve of the Desmo connector to the position denoted by four blue circles. We push the mobile portion of the Desmo patient set once again towards the Desmo connector until the end of the rotation and catch the new protective cap. A confirmation click, which can be heard only at the end of the process, confirms that the Desmo connector is ready to be disconnected. Disconnect by unscrewing the Desmo patient set from the Desmo connector. Close the extremity of the connector with a cap for the patient set. With this, we have finished the exchange cycle, during which the inside of the peritoneal catheter has never been in contact with the outside. Glomeria Therapeutics committed to unmet needs.